Just go ahead and begin to pray. I join my faith with yours this morning. You will not live here the same way that you came. God Almighty will do something new in your life. Something powerful in your life. Something miraculous in your life. God will meet you at your point of need. And your joy will surely be full. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I join my faith with yours as well. Today, God will meet you at your point of need. That thing that you need, that thing that you are hoping for, praying for, today may God release it unto you in Jesus' name. Please lift up that Bible very eye unto the Lord. Just lift it unto God. And together we say, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I am about to receive the incorruptible indestructible, eternal seed of the word of God. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same again. Never, never, never. I will never be the same again in Jesus' name. And while still standing, please open with me to First Samuel chapter 17, and together we read verse 48. 
1 Samuel chapter 17. Together we read verse 48. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. That passage said the enemy ran towards David. And David ran towards the enemy. David chose to confront his Goliath. Today's sermon is part three of Break Up Your Fallow Ground. And the subtopic is Confront Your Goliath. That thing that is threatening your destiny. Today the almighty God will give you the power to confront it, to subdue it, and to permanently prevail in Jesus' name. Let's take this song that is going to the world. You are the Lord. That is your name. You, you will never share your glory Lord. with any man. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Oh, my God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory. As we go into your word this morning, Father, speak expressly, O God. The word that we need, every one of us, the word that we need to fulfill destiny, release upon us this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you. Please take your seat. Good morning. I welcome you into the presence of the Lord. And those that are joining us all over the world, wherever you may be, I welcome you as well. And I'm believing God that there will be a turnaround in your life in Jesus' name. Please avoid any distractions and listen for your own word. Listen for your own word. When you hear your word, you say a loud because the word that you need is not necessarily the word that your neighbor needs. I say this every Sunday, and I mean it. There's a word that God has prepared for you as a person today. Listen for that word. The moment you hear it, write it down, turn it into prayers. And I'm joining my faith with yours. A new thing will begin in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, once again, I ask that you put your word in my mouth, you bless your people, and you glorify thy name. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Break up your fallow ground. Fallow ground represents a ground that cannot reach its destiny. 
cannot fulfill its purpose because that ground has not been prepared. Fallow ground represents something that God has a plan for, but that thing cannot reach the purpose of God because it has not done its own part. There is something you need to do for the purpose of God to be fulfilled in your life. What is that thing that God wants you to begin to do starting from today? Last Sunday, the subtitle was Fear No, Fear No More. How many of you remember the sermon for last Sunday? Let me see the hand up if you remember. Fear no, fear no more. And you remember it begins by saying fear is a satanic stronghold. It went on to say fear is not from God. Faith and power are from the Lord. And that fear has torment. We're building on that today into this part three. And today is really going to be transformational, I believe. Confront your Goliath. Today is the Goliath of fear that we are continuing in. And the first point is that the plan of God concerning you shall stand. I say it one more time. The plan of God concerning you shall stand. You might be at a place in your life where you are wondering whether things will still happen the way you desire it. You are worried about your future because some things that are going on make you to wonder. But the word of God for you is that his plan for you will surely come to pass. In Psalm 33, verse 8 and 9, when we open to that passage. Psalm 33, verse 8 to 9. It says, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Verse 9, the reason for that. Say, he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. It doesn't matter what others may be planning concerning you. What God has said, that thing will surely come to pass. I join my faith with yours once again and I decree over your life. The words of God concerning you shall surely come to pass. Every word that has been released upon you that is contrary to your destiny. I reverse in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 10 of this same 33. Verse 10. Say, the Lord bringeth the counsel of the Eden to north. What does that mean? Say, there are people that will gather together and they will form an opinion. They will seek counsel together. But a counsel that is not in, in line with the purpose of God for your life. God will allow them to do their meeting. We allow them to do all the plan. At the end, it will make you to come to nothing. I prophesy for you, upon your life, all those who are meeting, and they are reaching a decision that is contrary to your joy, that decision shall come to nothing in Jesus' name. You know, something happened in the last two days in Nigeria. I will not mention it, but you will know if you have been following events in this country. I don't spend my time too much worrying about politics. But in politics, sometimes God speaks. And it's not, not one, one of the parties better than the other, just so you know. And no politician is better than the other politician. They are all, they are all the same. But even though they are all the same, 
God sometimes does his own wonders in spite of who they are. In the last two days, you saw somebody rehearsing how to be king. The Bible said they were already doing rehearsal. The stage was already built. They've already awarded all the contracts. Those who are going to be appointed commissioners are already giving testimony. A few hours before it came to pass, God overturned it. I pray for you. All those who are rehearsing to take the blessing that belongs unto you, they will be disappointed in Jesus' name. You know what God was saying concerning that particular event? Is that it's never too late. It's never too late. Just as he said here, he said they will, they will plan, they will plan, they will plan. At the end, he will make the plan to come to. If anybody had told the other man that it's still possible you will be governor, he will say, how can the, uh, the inauguration is tomorrow? But I pray for you that your own will never be too late in Jesus' name. Why don't you arise and pray for yourself? Father, arise for me. Arise for me. Don't let my own be too late. Go ahead and cry to God. That is what Psalm 33 verse 10 is saying. He brings the counsel of the Eden to nothing. He maketh the devices of the people of no effect. My own will not be too late. My own will not be too late. It will not be too late. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Pray that prayer in a more affirmative way. It is not too late for me to be blessed. Go ahead and pray. It is not too late. It is not too late for me to be blessed. It is not too late for God to make a way for me. It is not too late for you to marry. It's not too late for you to have a child. It's not too late for you to be promoted. It is not too late. It is not too late. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I pray for you one more time. Even when people think it is too late, your God will arise for you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Point number two. God has you covered. You may not know it, you may not feel it. But if you are in Christ Jesus, he has you covered. People can do what they want, but God has you covered. That is why you must confront your Goliath. Whatever it is that is working against you, confront it in the name of the Lord. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Romans 8, verse 31. It says, if God be for us, who can be is anybody here who God is for? You believe that God is for you. So the question is, if you believe that God is for you, can anybody succeed against you? The answer is no. It doesn't matter how you may feel today. Oh, things are bad. Things are not looking good. Don't worry. God has you. God has you covered. That is the purpose of that passage. If God be for us, who can be? 
against us. I don't know what it is that you are going through. But the almighty God is just laying in my heart. I don't know what it is you are going through. But you will prevail in Jesus' name. They may have said, oh no, it cannot be done. It's like, I say it will be done in Jesus' name. Galatians chapter 6 verse 17. Galatians chapter 6 verse 17. Galatians 6 verse 17. Say, so let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. It doesn't mean that they won't try. It just means that they cannot succeed. Because the mark of God, of Jesus, is upon you. I pray for you one more time. That mark will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And any mark that they have put upon you, I uproot in the mighty name of Jesus. I told you a story many years ago. I don't remember how, when was the last time I told you, but it's a real life story. It happened in Dallas, around 2000, yes, 2000 or 2001. I was in a prayer department. And we just felt led to go and pray for this lady. The lady was advanced in age. I'm sure close to 40. Beautiful lady. Always in church, loves God, but no husband. As we were praying for her, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a mark on her. It's not a mark you can see with the ordinary eyes. But I saw the mark and God led us to pray. I pray for somebody here. Whatever mark the enemy has placed on you that is not allowing you to meet with favor, may that mark be replaced with the mark of Jesus in Jesus' name. In the second service, we will go a little bit deeper. But let me mention a few things. You see, when you bear in your body the mark of Jesus, nobody can stop you. But I want to use a particular story to show you what you must do. Exodus chapter 17 verse 11 to 12. Let's put it on the screen. That is the heart of today's message. Exodus 17, verse 11 to 12. said, it came to pass when Moses held up his hands that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hands, Amalekites prevailed. The Amalekites are the enemies of Israel. Whenever Moses lifted up his hands, saying, Lord, we can, Israel won. Whenever Moses brought down his hands, Israel lost. Verse 12 explained what was going on. Said so Moses' hands were heavy. The man was tired. The man was very tired. So he would take up his hand. A little while he will bring it down. And the moment he brings it down, the enemy starts to prevail. There is someone here. You feel tired. You have tried everything you know how to. And it appears things are not working. God is telling you, even though you are tired, don't lose faith. I say this one more time. Even though you are tired, you don't feel like continuing. You are not even motivated anymore. Don't surrender. All eyes closed. You are that person. I don't know what is happening in your life, but you are, you are discouraged. You don't even feel like praying anymore. You, you have lost hope. Let's just wave that hand wherever you are. God, just, God bless you. Just wave it. Just wave that hand wherever you are. Just wave it. Just wave it. Wave it. Just wave it. Please stand. All eyes closed. Just stand wherever you are. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sisters. God bless you. 
Stand wherever you are. Just stand. God bless you. God bless you. Lift those hands up. Just lift those hands up. Lord, I pray for your sons and your daughters. The grace not to surrender. The grace not to give up. Release unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. The power to hold on to the very end. May God give unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. And as those hands continue to be lifted up in prayers, every Amalekite in your life shall be subdued in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can sit down. So when Moses couldn't carry on, the people around him realized, if we allow this man to put his hand down, we are all going to lose. They decided to hang his hand. The Bible said one person carried one hand. The other person carried the other hand. I pray for somebody here. God will send people that will lift up your hands in Jesus' name. Even when you don't feel like continuing anymore, God will send a helper to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to rise on your feet and pray a simple prayer. Say, Lord, I refuse to fear. Your plan concerning me shall surely come to pass. Go ahead and begin to pray to God. I refuse to fear. I refuse to surrender. I refuse to give up. Your plan concerning me will surely come to pass. Talk to God in faith. I refuse to fear. I am encouraged again to pursue my destiny. Your plan concerning me will surely, surely come to pass. Your plan concerning me will surely come to pass. I refuse to give up. I confront my Goliath. I refuse to be tired. I refuse to be tired. I know it will be well with me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You can take your seat. You are here this morning. You know this message is for you. But for you to be able to tap into that grace to wait to the very end, you must trust in the power of the Lord. You must surrender yourself to the person that will give you the strength to carry on. The choir will take the song, trust and obey, for there is no other way. You are here, you are saying, Pastor, I need to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to put my hope in the Lord because I know with him all will be well with me. As they take that song, please come, I want to pray for you. Say, Pastor, pray with me, pray for me. I want to surrender my life to this God. The God that can arise for me at the 11th minute, the 11th hour. Just come, I want to pray with you, come. When we walk with the Lord, come, come. God bless you. Let's clap for them as they come. When you put your trust in the Lord, He will help you. He will help you. You are watching us online. Send us your name and your telephone number. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Surrender your life.
bless you. Just come. Lord, I want to surrender my life to you. I want to surrender my life to you. with you this morning. Please say after me, my Lord Jesus, I surrender my life unto you. Save me. Help me. Be the Lord over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you. Please go with my sisters. God bless you. Those waving to you. Let's clap for her. The rest of you, let's rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet. I want to pray with another set of people. You believe that God is speaking to you as a person this morning to rededicate your life to God. I don't know how what has happened up to now, but you need to rededicate yourself to God. When that hand was coming down, God was saying to Moses, no, keep it up. You are the one God is talking to this morning. The choir will take another song. That song says, conquerors and overcomers now are we you are a conqueror you are an overcomer but you need to rededicate yourself you need to do more with God than you are doing today please come as a take that song God bless you you are an overcomer don't be tired come conquerors and overcomers now are we come Should you are an overcomer. God bless you. Just come. Say, Lord, I have come to dedicate my life to you. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. I have come to dedicate my life to you. But for those that God is talking to, you know you are, the, you are one of them. Please come. I want to pray for you specially that God will renew your strength even as you rededicate your life. You rededicate yourself to God. God bless you. Just come as they take that song one more time. Bless you. commit your daughters and your son into your hands. They have come to rededicate themselves unto you. 
Lord, please renew them in the mighty name of Jesus. In any aspect of their lives that they may have gone cold, Lord, today, refire them in the mighty name of Jesus. And as they recommit themselves unto you, and as they re-energize themselves in you, Lord, make them overcomers in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you, Peter Return. More than conquerors are we. Conquerors are we. Should the blood of Jesus. Continue to renew that is anointing, O Lord. We pray, O Father, Lord, all his fellow men will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. As he has watered us this morning, O Father, Lord, water him in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, the I am, the same, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let's have our seats. Let's all the titles come out. To tithe, to give our tithe. cannot be overemphasized because it's the word of God. He said, bring ye all the tidings to the stall house that there may be meat in my house and prove me not here we, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven. And I pray the Almighty God will open the windows of heaven for every one of us and will arise for us in Jesus' name. Father, I pray, Father Lord, this morning for your brethren that has brought their tithes before you. Father, I pray as is stated in Malachi, the blessing in that tree, Malachi, shall be theirs in the mighty name of Jesus. You will continue to arise for them. They will continue to be conqueror in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. The ordained minister should drop their tights in the middle bus. Why? Others should drop their tights in the bus.
it's offering time. Shall we all open our Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. I read, Every man according as he proposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Shall we all rise to our feet? Even as we package all our offerings this morning, the love offering, the welfare offering, my neighbor, as we dance forward to give to the Lord. Choir. Hallelujah. Amen. in the name of Jesus. For as many that has given Lord this week shall be a week of blessing for us in the name of Jesus. For as many that came into your presence without nothing, Lord, we pray you bless them this week in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Somebody shout a big hallelujah.
If you have been blessed today, shout a loud hallelujah. You know that your hand will not go down again. Shout a louder hallelujah. God bless you. Take your seat for a minute. Just a few reminders. Our three services we hold as usual. Uh, this is the first service. The second service we start at uh, nine. Uh, in between the first and the second, we have uh, Sunday school for a few minutes. Uh, please don't be in a hurry. I encourage you to also wait for the second service. Uh, we'll go a little bit deeper into the world. There's more time for the world, more time for praises, for worship, for dancing. Uh, that is the fountain of glory service at night. And then we have the refreshed service at 11. All three services are very different. Uh, please take advantage of as many of them as you are able to. And as you do, God will bless you in Jesus' name. I thank you so much for your suggestions. Uh, I've been reading every one of it. So please, if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, things we are not doing well, things we can do better, or things we are not doing at all that would be nice to do, please put it in the suggestion box. I read every one, every one of them. The prayer boxes are also around. Uh, you have a prayer request, please put your prayer point in the box. As I'm praying along with you, the prayer department is also praying along. And you also praying together, God will make our joy full in Jesus' name. The medical stand uh, will open after second service. If you'd like to see a medical doctor or a nurse, uh, please immediately after the second service, wait. Uh, even if you are not feeling somehow, you feel okay, it's a good practice to always check yourself, check your vital signs. I pray that every one of us will live long in Jesus' name. The food bank will be open after the third service. Uh, if you are believing God for help in this area, you are not sure where the, your next meal will come from, uh, please, after the third service, go to the food bank and collect your pack. Uh, God will settle all of us in Jesus' name. The covenant house phase four will be commissioned next Sunday. Uh, by next Sunday... By next Sunday, uh, we will start to use the place. And all the funds that we need to complete it, we now have. So please don't con contribute again. If we do, we will send it back to you. Like I promise you, and I mean it, any contribution that comes from now on, we will return it back to the sender. Uh, that God always works in seasons. I pray that you did not meet your, miss your own season in Jesus' name. I say, I pray you did not miss your season in Jesus' name. Please also remember that we have prayer sessions every day in the morning at 6 a.m. Uh, please join us to pray, to intercede, uh, whether on your way to the office or you just you are around the area, come, to, uh, come around at 6 a.m. We have the Victoria Sisters Fellowship at uh, 9 on Thursdays. Uh, whether you're a married woman or a single, please also join them on Thursdays. All the women in the house, please join them on Thursday at night. The fruit of the womb, we have a prayer session for those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb. Whether you are already pregnant or you are still believing God for it, there's a special prayer in the pavilion immediately after this service. Please come along even with your husband. Let's pray together with you until your joy is full. Every one of you believing God in this area this year, you will deliver safely in Jesus' name. And those that are believing God for a life partner, you are a single, uh, please know that your own prayer sessions hold immediately after this service as well on level one. This year, there will be many marriages in Jesus' name. I say this year, there will be many marriages in Jesus' name. Don't forget the night of praise on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday at, at 7 p.m., we gather here to just praise God for about two hours. It's always a wonderful time. Night of praise, word, and wonders. Because we know that when we praise God, God releases his wonders. So wherever you are on Wednesday, please join us uh, to, to praise God. Today is your first Sunday. Uh, we are really glad you are here. Just rise up wherever you are. We'd like to just appreciate you. Just thank God bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Today is your first Sunday with us. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. Just stand wherever you are. God bless you all. 
Those who are near them, please give them a warm embrace, a warm handshake. Welcome them into the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Just welcome them. God bless you. And if you are near them, can you just hold their hands together as we pray? If you are sitting next to them, just hold their hands together as we pray. Father, we just want to thank you for our brothers and sisters joining us today. And those joining us online as well, we welcome you. We pray that God Almighty will perfect everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. Today, the power to confront your Goliath, God Almighty will give unto you in Jesus' name. It is not too late for you to be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Let us rise on. from their instructions. Father, thank you for your word that you have sent unto me today. Just bless the name of the Lord. Thank you for your word that you have sent unto me today. You sent your word and you healed them and you delivered them from their instructions. Lord, thank you for your word of life. I receive it, O oh God. I receive your word. Be it unto me, Father, as you have spoken. I will confront my Goliath. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, from today I confront my Goliath. Go ahead and begin to pray to the Lord. I mention that Goliath in your life. If it's the Goliath of fear, I confront the Goliath of fear. I will succeed. I will excel. I confront the Goliath of fear. I confront the Goliath of fear. I confront it. Lift up your voice in, in prayers. I confront the Goliath of fear. I confront it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Isaiah 3 verse 10 says, Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well. So he said, Father, I declare my tomorrow will be all right. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. I declare my tomorrow will be all right. Declare it upon yourself. Prophesy it upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your children. My tomorrow will be all right. God is on my side. God is on my side. God is on my side. My tomorrow will be all right. God is on my side. 
my tomorrow will be all right. I will prosper. I will be in good health. Even as my soul prospered. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please look for somebody near you and join your hands with them. As I join my faith with yours. Your tomorrow will be all right. You are an overcomer. Go ahead and begin to pray for them. I join my faith with yours. Your tomorrow will be all right. You are an overcomer. Your tomorrow will be all right. 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 You will succeed. You will excel. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. You will not be discouraged. Confront your Goliath. Confront your Goliath. Confront your Goliath. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You are going to go ahead and cry to God. Now you can come forward if you want. The choir will take the song, Onisha Iyanu. There is a wonder walking God. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. He will encourage you. Even now that you feel tired, he will encourage you. Cry to God with your own prayer request. Onisha Iyanu. He is the one that walks in God. Of awesome wonders. Don't be discouraged. Of your power. Don't be tired. Don't be afraid. Holy Shell, Holy you have shown me so much mercy. Much more than says, if God be for us, who can be against us? May he arise and fight for you in Jesus' name. 
all those who think it is over for you, they think it is too late for you. May your God surprise them all in Jesus' name. And in every aspect of your life that you are tired, you are discouraged. It's like hope is lost. May God Almighty encourage you once again. A great and pleasant surprise is about to happen in your life. You will return with a testimony. And as you rise from today, confront your Goliath. That thing that appears too difficult for you, you are more than able. And as you confront, you will succeed. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you believe, shout aloud, hallelujah. hallelujah. God bless you. So we're going to Sunday school for 20 minutes, and then the second service will start. Please don't be in a hurry. Wait for the second service. We'll go deeper into the world.